And today I am going to make another set of taped together backgrounds for ATCs. Do something a little different. I'm using this kind of a lacy looking and it's not focusing. Um, give that wash tape a go for you guys. And uh, they're not perfectly well taped together, but whatever, they'll they will work fine. Add my gesso and kind of go over it. This is just the white gesso. I'm going to grab a one of these um, artist uh, things. Oh wow, brain just went blah. And I'm gonna go over it like this with the gesso. This is not modeling paste, this is gesso. So something different. I'm gonna get some paint into the cracks, but I wasn't really careful paint um, covering it this time or taping it together. Um, not on purpose, just being, I don't know, not careful enough. So just going for a different look. And this is what I'm going for. So I could probably just go through it with you guys. I don't know. So I'm going to dry this. The right side's now. all dry. Flip it over. Do the same thing to the other side. Just so it. Okay. And I got this is a deco art stencil. And I'll show it to you right here. And um, it fits perfectly on the back of the card. It's kind of like got really big space and even though the cards are going to be separated later I think it's kind of cool anyway so I decided to go with this and the cards have like a navy blue almost black um, background that's kind of, that's why I, I lighten it up with the white but I'm also going to go with a more metallic-y color this is a metallic uh, black pearl so I'm going to try that on there and this is also a deco art project, but I wasn't just like planning to use deco arts. It's just kind of happening that way because I decided to like the style. So what I'm gonna do is kind of, I'm using this uh, brush and I like to use it for this kind of thing. It is a little moist. The moister it is, the worse. It doesn't work as well. So just an FYI. Um, but I'm just gonna, in there and then I just pop this back on like this to keep my paints moist isn't that cool and then it's got a pretty good lip in there so when the air is pushed out and then I'm gonna pick up my stencil and if it's not perfect I'm not too worried but look at that I like that now I'm gonna put this inside dry this up a bit and I love it. I'm very happy with this background. And I know, I know some of you are like, you're taking too long. This is a little bit wet, but I'm gonna probably um, dry it up a bit. And we'll see here. I'll do it for, yeah, I'll just dry it up for a bit. Okay, it's looking a little different now. I got the back done, dried it, washed my stencil too. I got it so clean. I'm so proud of myself. It's like perfect almost. Look at that. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, okay, crazy. Um, I decided I couldn't find the vintage photos that Anne Marie sent me. Still probably packed. So I got lots of stuff to unpack. But I do have this. I bought this a long time ago. This uh clown circus um paper. So I was thinking of doing a kind of a cards with that. Uh, leak a uh, cards if that really makes sense, but you know what I mean. Um, so like I'm just gonna choose a few pieces in here, and this is the circus collection. And I don't know, I bought this quite a while ago, 
quite a while ago, like a year or even more. Well, it has been over a year. Okay, so I got some pieces here and I'm just going to put them down on here. Um, I want to do a little bit more with my background. I think I want to age it up. I have some homemade black alcohol spray and I do have brown. So I cut up markers, put them in here, and that's what I did to, to do this. And this is the kind I want. I don't want to use my uh, any other I kind of just want to age it with this. So I'm going to dry that up. I'm going to throw some browns on it. Now there's alcohol in here, alcohol is so it's going to really play nice with each other and kind of dance around on the page, which I really like the spots. And the gesso is going to really pick that up too. So I'm going to dry that up and then I'm going to add more. So it's going to look really cool. I don't know. So I'm going to go with a little bit of red um, from my misters. Oh, this is a terrible sprayer on there. Getting it everywhere. It is a mess. Oh. No, I did not want that much red, but we will wash that. Okay, those are great colors, but they get really funky sprays on them. So I'm not, I don't like that part on the, the uh, deco arts. The funky direction. I suppose you can clean them every once in a while, but that's kind of not what artists are all about sitting there and cleaning their spray bottles out. So I don't know. But it is a nice bright color. I probably should have went more with the maroony. Maroony. Or no, that's magenta. I don't want magenta on there. Anyways, going a little bit more brown on it to darken that red, which is actually working nice. Now I'm going to dry it for one last time and then I'm going to end up putting my paper on it. I have a lovely mess here, which is pretty full. Okay, this is it. Now, um, I was going with the vintage E before, and then I couldn't find what I was looking for, so I'm going a little vintage E, um, but uh, kind of what's that kind of steamy, punky, circus E oldy this stuff, <laughs> whatever, right? So. Um, that's what I've decided to do because I can't find the old antique. I want to go more lacy, but I couldn't find what the pictures that I wanted. So I'm going to cut uh, some of this paper off and add it on there for um, ATC cards or whatever. Right. So I'm making my own cards on here. It's a little different than I've done it before. Before I've stamped and painted on them. But I don't think you guys ever see me kind of do it this way, so it's a different way. It's just to show you that we can do whatever we want. So, goes to show you we can do it. So I'm gonna just gonna kind of mod podge these on or whatever, like glue them on and make little cards and then cut them out later. And that's what I'm going to do. So decide where I want my pieces and I'm going to do that. I kind of like these photos here so I'm going to do that. You can do like like I said before the antique. Uh, I had little like little women silhouettes or not silhouettes but in their old vint uh, Victorian dresses and hats and stuff and I got that from Anne Marie. She got a pound shop and sent in happy mail and I love it so but like I said gotta do what you gotta do I like um 
these. These are nice. I don't know if I'm going to cut any more out of these, but I could use some of this. So what I'm going to do is probably guesstimate. Where's my pencil? This guy here, I kind of like him. I'm just going to use my pencil. Uh, you guys can't see me. Well, very nice. I'm just going to pencil off what I want of this picture. Um, what I want in this picture right here. Yeah. And my lead's going to be shiny even in the dark spaces. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. And I do like her, but I don't want it on the white. So, I have to pick out three more pictures. So I'm going to cut these out. just modge podging the outside down. I got the glue down but I'm going to add some modge podge over top. It's the matte medium. It does give it a bit of a sheen. It's good. I like it and not like over glossy. I'm trying to get the edges down. And these are my cards here. Then they're kind of like um, ATCs or they can be like um, pocket letter cards or whatever but this is my circus theme like I said I did want to find my vintage paper and do the vintage girls women but didn't find it and I love this just as much I actually been wanting to use these up but um yeah had them for a long time there's no point in letting things sit so I'm using a lot of glue I know don't worry it's because I'm trying to get it all under the edge and really press it down and that's my goal. So I hope you guys like this process. It wasn't too crazy for you. I could doodle on it now um, instead of inking the edges and all that kind of stuff. I didn't want to do all that. Um, I could doodle on the edges. I can go watercolor. I might just, who knows, do that. I don't know. And scribble on it with my watercolor and then go over it. My watercolor crayons, that is, because I love using them. Um, but for the first part here, I really got to get this. Uh, see, I'm flipping it They up. are dried up. And um, there's my back. Got a little red on it. No, no worries. And now I can show them to you. I think I'm going to stencil a little bit in here. I have homemade stencil that I made like over a year ago still out of the little... I don't know what you call them. Folder thing between the pages of your binders. Page separators. I don't know. I'm going to use my archival ink. Um, black. And I'm just going to go in between uh, here and darken it up a bit. Just because I want to. And I'm using my makeup sponge. 
that you know Dollarama makeup sponge now I'm not sure if I want to go too solid or just go here and there I don't know I just want to do that and uh, get some of my edges a little darker here and there and I got the going over the cards a bit but that's the way I want so I kind of want that look. See the dingy? I, li I do like that. Oh, I like it a lot. Then I'm going to cut it apart and I'm going to really love it. So this is a different way to do this kind of like these cards together. You play and do whatever you want. And here the YouTube, the kids on the YouTube. There we go. So that looks really cool. I like it. And there we go. Now I'm gonna cut it up. Cut it up. I'm gonna use my ruler. I'm going to use my rolling tool and I'm going to use my little mat. I do have a small one here. Did I pull it out? My little mat. I could pull, move all my stuff and get you know, a big mat, but so I'm just going to cut through the tape really. And uh, line it up. Oh, pull this thing up down. This works good, but I did get it at the dollar store. A dollar store, not Dollarama. About two or three years ago. And it's still working good, so can't complain about that. So that, just because my little board here is short. I have to move it up. Oh. There's a piece here that tape that I didn't cut through. I might have to glue that back on. Or let's see. Tape it back on. I could tape it or glue it. I think I'll just tape it right now. Good. It's all good. I really do like this process. It's kind of fun and um, it's different. I um, like doing ATCs and, and these cards all just different ways. I kind of like to try new things, challenge myself on different ways to do it. And I hope I didn't cut that. Did I? Did I? Did I? I don't think so. So I'm going to finish cutting this apart. 
now you have your cards. Kind of just whatever. You can darken the edges, you can doodle on them. And they, isn't that cute? Aren't they just cute? Come on, focus. They're cute. They turn out really nice. And I can do doodle, like I said, on them. And now have nice, cute little ATCs or like pocket letter cards. And make a little, now I have a little theme, and I can even stamp out some images, stamp out some signs, and whatever. Put them on. It don't matter with if I want to put little labels on them for like pocket letters or just leave them plain like without labels doesn't matter isn't that cute so I hope you guys play with these in a different way using some of your papers up or even collage things, smaller collage things. So give it a try, guys, and just, yeah, play with it. I think I'm going to add some gold to this. What do you think? Um, I just might. Some gold I got. Happy Meal here. This stuff, I love it. Give it a try. Rub some on there. I think that'll give it a nice touch. Oh, isn't that pretty? See the gold? It's cute. So guys, just give it a try and show me what you got. Make Leave a comment and don't forget to craft like a duck and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I keep doing this saying goodbye and all that kind of stuff, but I want to show you guys what I did with the back. I um, sprayed it with a stencil and it's um, Andy Skinner stencil, this one here. And then my, what I rolled off, I just threw my index cards on it. So it's just pretty full, very nice. Anyways, that's the back side now. I got a little bit of all the colors in there. I'm going to stick some of my metallic lusters on there. I thought I would try it, see how that works. Give it a little extra sheen. Grab some of that um, texture from the tape and the bumps of the paints and stuff like that. Because I really went and scraped that paint on there, right? So it's going to look super textured. And it's going to pick up that texture, see? I love it. I'm using the champagne so it's nice and light. So, there you go. Just like that. So nice. And it's got, look at that, it's picking up that texture of the scraped um, gesso on there. Try to go against the grain of what you have. Can you see? Just, there you go. Isn't that nice? Love it. And now these guys are done. I just wanted to add more to the back. I was looking at the back and I'm like, I love that stencil, but I have to do more. And this is my project for you guys to try. I think it's pretty cool. This is all of them done. Look at that lovely great texture so yummy and that's that one that card 
I'm going to show you quickly all the cards again. Add a little bit of um, the champagne metallic lusters to the top as well. God's word. Anyway, do my best to get you to see all the detail. I don't know if a picture would do any better. Look at my beautiful golden fingers. I look like I have the golden touch. The mind is touch. And that is my project, guys. Isn't that nice texture? And I hope you guys give it a try, something similar, and um, enjoy it. Enjoy the fun. Getting your fingers dirty. I love it. Trying to show you all different angles and catch the textures. That's the nice thing about having the metallic lusters or even buffing stuff. Um, making your own too. You could just get that nice look I like it a lot here's the last one there you go see all that texture it's all sheen and it's upside down Trying to get you guys to see the texture and it's like now blurry. I don't know. Anyway, these are them. That one says dazzle, but you can't see because it's too blurry. Anyways, I hope you guys like them. And don't forget to craft like a duck and leave comments below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. So pretty, folks. Bye, guys.